from the Second Street Dreams Audio Network, this is Staccato, quick notes dotting the classical music landscape. I'm Judlin Gibson. Fleischmann for the win. Who wrote the libretto for the Philip Glass opera Waiting for the Barbarians? Who wrote the libretto for Verdi's Aida? Don't look it up. I'll tell you at the end of this staccato. The reason you most likely don't know is because the librettists don't often get the kind of acknowledgement given to the opera composer. That's why acclaimed librettist and lyricist Mark Campbell conceived and funded the Campbell Opera Librettist Prize to honor those who actually write the story of the opera. The opera In a Grove, composed by Chris Cerrone, the libretto by Stephanie Fleischmann. It's a Rashomon-type tale set in the aftermath of a wildfire in the Pacific Northwest. I think there's still a huge sea change, a huge shift that needs to happen in both um, in both from the point of view of the, the opera companies and how they credit the librettist um, as an equal. I'm Stephanie Fleischmann, librettist. The Opera America Campbell Librettist Prize. You must have been just thrilled finally that someone said, you're good at this. No, it was lovely. It was really um, exciting and, and um, the moment at Opera America at the conference when they announced the prize was really moving. And um, yeah, I, f I feel incredibly excited about it all. It's great. I, I feel really honored and validated for my work and um, excited about the future of the form for people um, who are writing in this form, who, who are to receive the award in the future. Fleischmann has been writing the words to the music for a long time and learned that in opera, the writing and composing process is more collaborative than she first thought. When you're writing that outline, you're thinking about musical form as well. And then once that everyone is happy with that, the writing of the libretto, libretto workshop, rewriting based on libretto workshop, and then um, the first piano vocal, which is usually just a draft, and hopefully you get a workshop for that, and maybe another piano vocal, um, and then finally an orchest the orchestration. She won $7,000 with the prize, but it doesn't appear Fleischmann will have time to enjoy it. For instance, I'm writing an opera, or my second opera with uh, Jeremy Hardback for Houston Grand Opera um, about homelessness in Houston. Mm. And um, it's called Another City and it's premiering in um, March of next year. The Pigeon Keeper with Santa Fe Opera about a refugee boy who g gets caught like a fish in in the sea by a little girl and her father for their opera for all voices program with the composer david hanlon um, that actually premieres in um october of 23 and then another opera called archipov which is about uh, a russian nuclear submarine during the cuban missile crisis with a uh, composer peter nell and we will have a concert premiere in october of this year in l.a and there's still more work to come for Stephanie Fleischmann, winner of the second annual Opera America Campbell Opera Librettist Prize. Links to Fleischmann's many works are on the staccato page on secondstreetdreams.com. And now, the answers to the questions asked at the beginning of this staccato. The librettist for the Philip Glass Opera Waiting for the Barbarians is Christopher Hampton. 
and Antonio Ghislanzoni was responsible for the words in Verdi's Aida. That's Staccato. I'm Judlin Gibson on the Second Street Dreams Audio Network on secondstreetdreams.com.